everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jen from Keto Cooking Wins, uh, a blog where I post all my keto recipes. Today we're going to make something delicious called Green Goddess Stuffed Mushroom Caps. I uh, caught my live uh, webcast earlier. You would have seen that we made this delicious looking and tasting Green Goddess dip. It's basically a combination of cream cheese, parsley, shallots, and garlic and it's just a flavorful powerhouse and it's something that I keep in the fridge all the time. Uh, as I mentioned in the earlier video, my kids like to put this on toast before they go to school. I'll put a big spoonful of this into scrambled eggs, I'll stuff it into chicken, I'll put it on top of just about any kind of vegetable, it melts in there and gives them great flavor and I'll even eat it just off the end of the spoon if I need a bit of a fat bump for the day. So we're going to take this and we're going to make some garlicky mushrooms uh, just on the stove top and then we're going to stuff this deliciousness inside those mushrooms. So let's get started. First I'm going to take a clove of garlic and I'm going to chop it up while my pan gets hot. There we go. So just take your clove of garlic, you can give it a squish and just give it a rough chop. It doesn't have to be super tiny for this recipe. You just want to get so that the flavor goes all throughout all the mushrooms. Just like that, just a bit of a rough chop. Like that. I'm also starting with some really big plump mushrooms. I got these guys from Costco. They come in about a two pound pack, but I'm using about a pound of them today. I popped out the stems out of the middle, gave them a good wash, and these are what we're gonna use. I like using these big jumbo guys because they hold lots and lots of filling. That's key. So let's see what's next. So we've got our pan going. I'm going to pop some butter in there because butter is always better. Of course, you can use whatever cooking fat you would like when you're making these mushrooms. If you're using coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever you like. Uh, anything is fine. You just need something in there to help those mushrooms get caramelized and cooked. So once our butter's melting, which it's well on the way here, I'm going to pop in our mushrooms. It doesn't matter if you start them open side up or down, it doesn't really matter. But what you don't want to do is really overcrowd the pan. Overcrowding a pan results in soggy vegetables, not nice golden brown vegetables. And we want some nice golden brown color on our mushrooms and just make them tastier. So these guys are going along nicely in here. I'm going to add my chopped garlic into there. Right down there in the middle is just fine. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a couple grates of salt and pepper. We always want to season our veggies. Veggies taste so much better with some salt and pepper on them. And we're just going to let these guys cook. See already? Look at that great color on there. Delicious. So here's a little tip for cooking mushrooms. I can never wait for them to be done. So once you get your pan good and hot, I'm just going to turn this up just a little bit and I'm going to find my lid. Once that pan is really nice and hot, because we want to cook the mushrooms without browning the garlic too much, burnt garlic is nobody's friend. It always tastes a little bitter and nasty. Here's my trick. I'm going to add about, oh, I don't know, maybe that's three tablespoons of water. Slap the lid on there. Those mushrooms are going to steam in no time. So because I'm not going to just stand here and talk to you guys the whole time while the mushrooms are cooking, I'm going to let those guys go. And I'm going to show you the ones that I cooked not too long ago. Um, the same process. You can see that they're gorgeous. They're nicely golden brown and they're all the way cooked. I let them steam with the lid on them for maybe two or three minutes until the mushrooms are tender. So now all we need to do is take these glorious looking garlicky mushrooms. I'm just going to pop them here on my cutting board. I hope we can still see that. Let me move that out of the way. And now I'm going to take my green goddess. I'm going to take a big old spoonful of it. That's probably close to a tablespoon. And I'm going to drop that right down into the middle of that hot mushroom. Now is when the magic starts. These hot mushrooms are going to melt the cream cheese 
and they're going to become ooey gooey and oh so delicious. Back when I lived in Texas, my husband and I would go to the melting pot for dinner uh, a few times a year and they had these mushrooms that you could dip into the liquid, the cooking liquid of the fondue and they served you with green goddess on the side. And we fell in love with the mushrooms. Now of course there's no melting pot near me now, of course now that I moved. So to get those flavors, I've had to recreate this dish for myself. And let me tell you, there's nothing tastier than these mushrooms stuffed with green goddess cream cheese. And when you serve them at any event, as an appetizer, or even just as a snack, you're going to fall in love with them. They're so delicious. Give them a try today. You can find this recipe and so many more on KetoCookingWins.com. Check it out today.